Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be previewing the 2019 Wilkes University football season. Our guest today is head coach John Drock. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, Adam, how you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Now, Coach, you're entering your second year as the leader of the Colonel football program. What are your expectations as you enter year number two? Um, I think my expectation for us and the team is that we just kind of continue to improve. You know what I mean? I don't think the motto has changed very much from where we were last year. I think we are really, really driven right now to build on what we did last year. Uh, I think that we have a lot of potential, uh, but we also know that potential doesn't mean anything until we put that into execution. Now you're bringing back, as far as your roster, you're bringing back a handful of uh, players that mm -hmm. gained a lot of valuable experience, a lot of big playing time last mm -hmm. year for you. What can you tell us about some of the players that you have returning? I think on the offensive side of the ball is where I'll start. Um, and we return four guys up front. I think that's kind of the hallmark of any team is how your offensive line is. And you know, returning those four offensive starters up front uh, with one of our captains, Mike Osai, uh, is really, really important. They kind of set the tone and I think the tempo uh, for what we want to do. Uh, they're a year farther along in the system and the processes. So I think that's a much improved group from what we had last year. Um, I also think we return, obviously, Jose Tabora, who's a very, very dynamic athlete. And as he has gained more and more experience within the system, he's just so much more comfortable now uh, than he was a year ago at this time. And I really look forward to him kind of continuing to grow in the system and really flourishing, hopefully, this year uh, and really achieving his full potential. Now, obviously, football, a team with a very large roster, mm -hmm. a very large percentage of those are usually newcomers mm -hmm. to the team. What can you tell us about some of the freshmen that we have coming in this year? Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, um, we're looking at some young kids definitely in the backfield. Uh, I think we'll have maybe one or two young freshmen uh, that are contributing uh, on a down down basis for us there. And then also some kids on the edge and up front. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw maybe three or four freshmen in the two deep at the offensive line. Uh, I think that uh, there's some young guys in Jaquan Shields and Kamal Reed in the backfield that are really going to help us contribute on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, and all those guys considered, I think, are pretty doing a great job of learning and also competing at this point because right now we still haven't made any real decisions as far as who our best starters are going to be uh, going into week one against Hartwick and uh, I think that those guys are all still in a competition mode right now uh, on the defensive side of the ball just going back to some of the returners um, we return a lot up front uh, we're a very veteran, veteran group on the defensive side of the ball with Derek Schneider and Vinnie Werner uh, Dane Tarantelli and Pat Ricky uh, on the front along with Bud Moyer and Zach Weber on the back end I think that we have a really really solid group there uh, the young kids on the defensive side of the ball uh, are really going to be in the secondary. Um, Avery Demko, Dylan Walk, um, Anthony Washington, who was a freshman last year, will be a sophomore this year. All those guys have done a really, really spectacular job. And I look forward to those guys kind of continuing to grow in their roles, but also competing for starting jobs coming out of camp. Now, of course, we play a very competitive 10-game schedule. Most of our games are in the MAC conference, mm -hmm. but we'll get into that in just a second. What can you tell us about the schedule and what we can look forward to this season? Um, it's a pretty balanced schedule, honestly. Um, I think last year we played in all close games. You know, I would expect to see a lot of the same this fall. Um, our style of play lends to that. So uh, it's always exciting. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, and I hope we get as many people out to those games as we possibly can. Uh, we do get some of our tougher opponents at home this year. So playing Del Val at home and playing Stevenson at home, who were the two top teams in the league last year, hopefully it's an advantage for us when they got to come to our place and uh, try to lay it on the ground there. Now, we play an 11-team conference in the mm -hmm. MAC. Uh, we can only play eight conference games. Just mm -hmm. as far as the teams that we play this year, what can we expect from those games? Um, I think in the MAC, uh, you saw last year. I think there was four teams at four and four in, in MAC play last year, four or five. Um, the competition across the board is very, very equal. Um, I don't think there's a ton of discrepancy between talent levels between number one and number eleven. I think you really got to play well every week in and week out, and you got to have depth. I think that's one thing that we'll have a little bit more of this year is more depth than we had last year to maybe abridge some of those injuries throughout the course of the season. Um, I think as a whole within the league, uh, we actually end up playing basically nine of the ten other conference opponents with Leb Val being an out-of-conference game for us. Um, so the only team we don't really see is Widener, who I believe is picked near the top of the league as well. And I know they were one of those teams tied basically at 4-4 four four last year in the conference. So um, 
I expect it to be very, very competitive again. I know a lot of people bring a lot back. DelVal brings a ton back on defense. That's a really, really talented group of players. Um, I know Misericordia brings back their fantastic quarterback. So across the league, I just expect to have great talent. And I look for our league to do really, really well. I love to see our league focus um, and do well in the playoffs and, and go into the Elite Eight and whatnot. And I think we have the talent within our league to do that. Wilkes University football team kicks off the 2019 season on the road September 7th at Hartwick, 1 p.m., and opens the 2019 home season week two, September 14th, against Lebanon Valley in non-conference action, 12 p.m. at Schmidt Stadium. Coach, thanks for joining us, and good luck this season. Thanks, Adam.